Hello everyone, I will show you how to do assembly of plumber block. So, first you have to click on new and you need to open the assembly. So, now we are in a assembly. So, you have to browse wherever the parts it is there. The first part is plumber body, I imported it and click on wherever you require. So, the second part I am going to insert that is part number 3 bearing 3. So, why it is because as you can see the dia of 6, you can see here this diameter has to coincide with the dia of body, both are 6 mm dia as you can see the dimension. So, go to mate fit, click on here, select the circular faces of body as well as bearing off automatically software selected concentric say ok next what i will do i select the dia 6 of body as well as bearing bottom off now you can see it is exactly upwards but i do not want in this direction you can click on flip mate so it came automatically towards down say ok Again, I am inserting next part that is part number 4 bearing top off. So, go to mate fit, click on the circular faces, it is concentric. Next, I select this particular face as to coincide with the this particular face. See how software selected coincident, say ok. Next, this face has to coincide with the another face. So, I am done with the part number 4. So, insert. Now, I am inserting part number 2 that is cap. So, what I will do? I will select the circular faces. Again, go to mate fit. Click on the circular face. It is concentric. Say ok. Next, what I will do? I will select this particular face as to touch with the this face coincidence ok and check how it is moving see it is still moving in direction it is rotating. So, for in order to avoid the rotation what I will do I will give another constraint that is concentricity this circle and this circle has to parallel. Now, we can see it is not able to rotate it say ok. Now, again inserting the bolt that is part number 5, as you can see it is a square bolt. So, go to mate fit, click on the circular faces of bolt as well as, now you can see again the bolt is above, but I do not want in the upward direction, I want bottom, you just flip it, say ok. Now, you can see it is rotating like this. So, what I will do? I select this particular face. Now, it is a point. I just delete this. I select this face and you can select the face of this. Now, it is parallel. Say ok. Now, select the bolt bottom and body bottom. Say ok. Say ok. Again, insert the nut. So, there are part 2 nuts are there with a different thickness. I select the part number 6, the thickness is 8 mm. So, I give concentrates. Again, I will give coincidence this face and this face. Coincident. Again, insert next part that is part number 7. Click on mate, concentric. Again, I will select this face and this particular face. It is coincident. Now, you can see here, still it is rotating. Okay. If you do not want to rotate, select this face and this face as coincidence. 
now you can see in the earlier it was individually rotating now it's rotating together now it is symmetric i just do mirror command so for that now to do mirror i need a plane so i'm going to select the plane parallel to this okay and the distance is 22 it is 44 divided by 2 i want it in the middle say okay so click on mirror entity mirror component it is asking a mirror plane the mirror plane is your plane this is the mirror entity the components are nuts Say okay. Oh, we didn't select nut also, right? Select nut as nut as well. Again, go to mirror. Select the plane. The component is nut. Say okay. So insert the last component that is the part number eight shaft. So click on mate fit select the circular face and this circular face again i repeat circular face of shaft and Concentric go to mate fit, select the faces. I delete this part again. I'm setting. Part number eight. Go to mate fit. Okay. Now you just move it wherever you require. Say okay. So this is the assembly of plumber block.